Good evening, Mayor, Mayor Pro Tem, City Council, City Staff, and Oxnard residents. My name is Jeff Pindelli. I serve as the Assistant Director of Community Development. This item is the second amendment to the offsite improvement agreement between the City of Oxnard and the Oxnard Union High School District for public improvements associated with the construction of Del Sol High School. The current agreement uh, referred to here as the original agreement was developed by the city and the district jointly for the benefit of both parties. It clearly identifies uh, Delta High School's improvement requirements and the timing of the construction of those improvements. Uh, under the current agreement, all of the improvements referred to here as offsite improvements, which includes streets, sidewalks, traffic signals, bike lanes, utility upgrades, etc. Those are all required to be completed before Del Sol High School opens. The current agreement also specifies that the final utility connections uh, will not be granted by the city until all of these offsite improvements are completed. And uh, again, that's that's stated very clearly in the current agreement. As a reminder, city council has authority over all the project components associated with city infrastructure, utilities, um, roadways, etc. Uh, the state of California has authority over the high school design and construction. For a little background, the image at the right shows a, a, an overhead view of the proposed high school uh, that's well under construction at this point in time. Uh, they are the Oxnard Union High School District is currently constructing Del Sol High School. Uh, this is on a 52 0.52 acre site at the northeast corner of Rose and Camina del Sol. Uh, the anticipated opening date of the school is August 16th of 2023. The school will include up to uh, 280,000 square feet of buildings and all associated campus facilities, such as play fields and a pool. The public improvements associated with the impacts and mitigations of this project. Um, for roadways, utilities, etc. They've been permitted and construction has been underway. Uh, the district has bonded for those improvements. The bonding uh, value is $24.510 million. The second agreement does not reduce the scope of those offsite improvements required to be constructed by the district. The district is behind schedule and completing all aspects of the offsite improvements before the school opening, thus the need for this second amendment. The key aspects of the second amendment. Most importantly, it allows the offsite improvements to be broken into two phases or sequences. Sequence one is all that work which must be completed prior to the school's opening. And again, that's scheduled for August 16th, 2023. And the second sequence, sequence number two, uh, that, that's the re remaining work which must be completed um, after the school opens, but by March 1st, 2024. Uh, sequence one represents approximately 85% of all of the offsite improvements the district is required to construct. The second amendment also clarifies that all of the sequence one work must be completed before the school can be occupied. And it confirms again the city will not provide final utility connections, water, sewer, and storm drain unless the sequence one improvements are completed. In understanding the distinction between sequence one and sequence two, um, sequence one work is uh, represents a lot of work that is uh, required under the current agreement. It's easier to look at what's in sequence two. In other words, what, what work will not be completed under this proposed second amendment uh, before the school opens? So we'll highlight only those elements that are, are proposed not to be completed. In other words, a part of sequence two. All other work uh, as a part of the original agreement, um, all other offsite work will be completed as part of sequence one. So again, looking at the sequence two work that will not be completed, item one, uh, indicates landscaping improvements on the east side of Rose Avenue between Jacinto Drive and Cesar Chavez Drive. Item two illustrates the sidewalk and landscaping improvements 
on the east side of Rose Avenue between Jacinta Drive and Camino del Sol. And item three indicates the sidewalk landscaping, uh, some of the paving and striping in the number three lane of Camino del Sol on the north side of Camino del Sol will not be completed as well. Taking a closer look at the intersection of Rose and Camino del Sol, item four indicates the crosswalks at the north and east sides of Camino del Sol and Rose Avenue, indicated in red here, will not be completed as part of sequence one. They are being proposed to be a part of sequence two under the second amendment. Uh, those intersections, uh, so because there's work occurring at the north edge of Camino del Sol and some sidewalk and landscaping work, uh, as well as utility undergrounding work occurring um, on Rose Avenue as well, uh, the, uh, it doesn't make sense to bring students across there into that construction zone. So those two crosswalks will be uh, blocked off and barricaded appropriately so that students will not be able to cross um, uh, in, uh, into that work zone area. Number five indicates the uh, the work uh, ongoing after the school opens that will be necessary on the northern edge of Camino del Sol, mostly affecting the lane number three westbound, the right turn lane. Uh, there's some utility pole um, interference there that until those poles are, are removed and those utilities are undergrounded, uh, that work cannot be completed and that work um, is not scheduled to be done in time for the uh, school opening. So a little bit of the northern edge of Camino del Sol will not be completed, but the intersection, um, the other two crosswalks and the remainder of the intersection will be fully upgraded and completed. This is the, uh, an enlarged view of the intersection of Camino del Sol, Gibraltar, and the main uh, del Sol High School entrance. This is a new signalized intersection being constructed as part of the offsite improvements. The intersection, the signals will all be fully upgraded and operational. However, the, the items indicated in red, the shaded area on the north side of Camino del Sol will not be completed again due to the overhead utility pole interference uh, that will remain uh, until those poles are undergrounded, the electrical utilities are undergrounded, and that will occur after the school opening. Uh, everything else indicated here, the yellow, green, and blue will be completed. Uh, the sidewalk, item number seven, um, on the north side of that intersection will not be functional and usable. The sidewalks indicated in yellow in this image will be fully operational, functional, and usable so that students traveling on the south side of Camino del Sol, east and west, will have a signal protected crosswalk across Gibraltar, and similarly, a, a signal protected crosswalk on the east side of the intersection crossing Camino del Sol. This image gives a better idea of the connectivity, the student connectivity to the campus. Uh, the areas indicated in green are fully functional and operational pedestrian pathways. The items indicated in red adjoining uh, Rose Avenue near Camino del Sol and the northern edge of Camino del Sol are the primary um, parts of the, the offsite improvement work that will not be completed. Um, all major intersections will be upgraded and operational prior to school opening, that includes item one, Cesar Chavez Drive at Rose Avenue, the signalized intersection and uh, lane upgrades there. Number two, Jacinto Drive, Camino de la Luna and Rose Avenue, that intersection will be fully upgraded and operational and new, signal, new signalized intersection. Um, all crosswalks will be fully functional at that intersection. Item three, Rose Avenue at Camino del Sol. Again, the, the intersection improvements will be complete. This, the new signal are fully functional and operational. However, as we mentioned in the prior slides, uh, two of the four crosswalks will be inactive uh, to prevent students from being dropped into the construction zone. Number four, Gibraltar Street at Camino del Sol. Uh, as indicated before, one of the three uh, crosswalks will be inactive. However, the signal the signal improvements and all other intersection improvements will be completed there. And number five, the intersection of the new Jacinto Drive 
uh, to the existing Jacinto Drive and Jaguar Way. Um, that's a stop controlled intersection by design, but it will be fully uh, completed and operational. And two new public roadways are being constructed as part of this project to the north of the high school, indicated as a uh, keynote item A, Jacinto Drive, and item B on the right side or the east side of the project, Jaguar Way, indicated as keynote B. Those both will be fully completed and operational. As for environmental review, the district is a lead agency and uh, the city of Oxnard is a responsible agency. The district prepared and certified uh, the EIR for this project and uh, the potential um, uh, environmental impacts and offsite improvements were analyzed at that time under the, this, the Del Sol High School project EIR. And mitigations are all included in the current agreement and will be carried through into the second um, amendment. However, the second amendment, as discussed, will defer a small amount of those improvements. The second amendment to this offsite improvement agreement will not create any new significant impacts or substantially alter and increase the severity of any of the impacts identified in the EIR. Staff recommendation is that the city council finds this that the project is not subject to additional environmental review pursuant to provisions of CEQA, and B, that the City Council approve the second amendment to the offsite improvement agreement between the City of Oxnard and the Oxnard Union High School District for public improvements associated with the construction of the Del Sol High School. That concludes this presentation. City staff will be available for any questions.